Hello everyone, this is Janice. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different, a little unboxing of a parcel that I just received from a friend of mine from out of state and I've known her most all of my life and I'm excited to open it. I know there are some fairies in there so that's going to be fun and I'm just going to open it up and, and then sit down and take things out and show you them in my other, on my other uh, desk camera. So it will be easier for me. We'll do the un little opening here, so. Let's see what that's about. <laughs> I think I can do it one-handed. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna start pulling things out and showing you them. And thanks again for everybody who has subscribed recently and maybe just tuned in and viewed. Thank you for everybody that's been here all along. Thanks for your support and caring. Okay, I've taken some of the wrappings out and I read the card that my friend Debbie sent to me with the package and wanted to read you a little bit of what she said about this card because it's a beautiful artwork and she said that this card shows a pastel work done by my former co-worker's mother, Idona Fossum. I hope I pronounced it correctly. She's now 96 and no longer can do artwork, but she will long be remembered by the beautiful works she's done all of her life. And that is just gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave that here to mark the place to put things so you can see them well. First, that's a lovely packaging. <laughs> Keep it nice and safe. And this is probably one of the fairies, I would imagine. Okay, this is the little baby one, I think. Oh, there she, there is her face. <laughs> oh, so that's adorable. She's very small. Okay. So sweet. So we'll take a peek in the box. That's where we are. This right now. amazing paper. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, that is so, so fun. Okay. You can speed this up. Um, if I'm talking too slowly, you know, <laughs> just so you know, you don't have to listen to me talk slow. Okay, oh, look at that. I forgot how, well, you can't really see how they look that well in the photos anyway, but let's see, I think I know the spot here, so I'll take this away. Wow, that is amazing. Now the wings will need to be separated a little bit. I don't want to... I'll do that later. Well, I want you to be able to see it too. Uh-oh. <laughs> we will fix this off camera. But she did say, oh, this is the little pokey thing. My daughter can help too. There's... I know there's a little hole that it would go in, so... Here is this one. And look at what she sent this in, a beautiful box, protecting this so well. Oh, it's not a fairy. Oh, that 
it's adorable. Look at that. How sweet. Oh. I think that was packaged so well. Well, I think I'll just leave him out here. Put this aside. Another fairy. He said some of them might be a little uh, worn from being around so long. Little uh, bits of things maybe broken, like I think that, yeah, the arm there. But I think she said this was a kind of a Halloween type fairy, goth fairy. Yeah, the, the wings can easily be mended, but, and my daughter might be able to fix this because she has made fairies. Years ago, she made them and sold them like this. Uh, and I've shown some of those in my uh, videos before. So I have to put these over so I don't hurt them. <laughs> Okay, here's another one, I believe, because it's she wrapped everything so um, nicely uh, in with lots of cushion in here, so they wouldn't be broken in the traveling here. Oh, this is the little little boy fairy. So adorable. Oh my goodness, I don't, oh, maybe he has a little knee. He just fell and hurt his knee a little bit. And he's running through the forest. Oh, so sweet. Oh, thank you, Debbie, if you're watching this ever. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, and that still has the label on it there. Remember she talked about this, this one. So dainty. I'm sure my thinking is that whoever received this, they couldn't bear to use it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to either. Uh, when you had a cold or something. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there's a, like a silk scarf. Oh, that's gorgeous. Beautiful, Debbie. Thank you so much. It's just gorgeous. I'll move this out of the way. There's like a dotted Swiss one that also has the label on it, which, again, who would want to actually use this? for the purpose it was meant <laughs> when you had a cold. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I love the colors in that. Look at that, how pretty the red and the blue and the yellow. There's another one similar. Embroidery. More beautiful embroidery. Oh, these are so precious. Just so, so precious. Another raised embroidery there, kind of a lavender, um, almost a purpley maroon color. And here's a very autumn, I think of autumn with those colors. And a cute summery one. And then another um, kind of raised flocking on this one. Okay, thank you so much, Debbie. <laughs> All right, then in here is some various um, things for, uh, I imagine, junk journals. Of the paper quality of them. We'll see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we'll continue on here with the cabinet cards. 
an adorable little baby there. And there's another one. Oh my goodness, this is really, really, really nice. Okay, there's photos in, inside here. Oh wow. Beautiful wedding dress. Um, well, bride in her beautiful wedding dress. These are going to be wonderful. More photos. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Oh wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't know these were going to be coming. Let's see if I get this in frame okay. Another photo and a, these, even these um, beautiful, you know, they used to put, well, I guess they still do, but these are beautiful ways to display the um, cabinet cards or photos a long time ago, and they made them so well. Very nice sizes. Looks like grandparents at some point. They might be grandparents, but they're at that age. A young woman, or I'm not sure how young. Oh, and a baby. Oh my goodness. Well, just thank you so much. Oh, beautiful. Several ladies in there. And maybe their husbands. Nope, not quite the same amount of people. <laughs> Still more <laughs> to come. If you're still with me watching, another one of those little ones like I showed you before. Oh, isn't he sweet? Two at a time. <laughs> Precious. All of these are just so precious. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are amazing. Just amazing. Well, I hope you're enjoying all of this. I certainly am. <laughs> if you're still watching, everybody. I know there's probably at least a couple people that would watch <laughs> all the way through. <laughs> I know that. That's very kind of you, and I appreciate it. This is like a portfolio, the way it's arranged here. Oops, goes this way. Oh, it's a wedding. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Wow. That over here. And some more. I will take that one out. Well, this looks like uh, the years that uh, Debbie and I were in high school. Oh, she wrote a note. Not so old photo was found in a frame I got at the local thrift store. It's yours to use or toss. <laughs> oh, yep, we had that. Well, we always, you know, they draped everybody so they all looked the same, the women, and uh, the hair is very of this that era. Lots of hairspray. <laughs> Aquanet. <laughs> Very precious. Very, very, let's see. Cute and precious and adorable. <laughs> oh, isn't that sweet? Oh, the duck. Mallard duck. Oh man, I wish she would tell me about this, but I'm just gonna see if my granddaughter wanted. Let's see, to learn how to needlepoint. That's, if you can see, see that okay. Need a point kit. Another photo. 
or cabinet card I should say. And this is electric refrigerator recipes. Wow. Oh, that's a beautiful old book and some earrings. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I showed you everything and I can't wait to get started making some journals. I hope if you are a junk journal person <laughs> watching this, junk journal maker, uh, or a person who just likes junk journals, I hope you will stay tuned uh, for my next videos because I'll be doing things along the junk journal line, either making them or showing you some flip throughs. And that will be, uh, that will be nice <laughs> to get back to doing that. I've been kind of doing other things, not having the proper setup in my craft room, just discouraged me a little bit. So that's all taken care of. I made a little short video of how I change things around and I'm busy, but <laughs> I'm ready to get back into it. Whatever that looks like. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching this. I appreciate anybody who stayed with me this long and I'll show you a little photos at the end. Thanks so much.